Hello, hi everyone. Good late morning, Dev10. Extremely proud of our cohort and all the hard work we've put in these past 14 weeks. Hello to the Prudential staff. Thank you for joining us for our capstone project. And I just want to formally introduce us. We are Team Quirk, and my name is Erwin Perez. I'm from Bronx, New York. I went to a school in Long Island. I went to Stony Brook University. I graduated with a bachelor's in technology systems management, and I specialized in applied math. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Roddy Rassi Rarson. Uh, I live in Albany, California, um, and I graduated from the University of California, Santa Barbara, with a bachelor's in political science. Hi, um, I'm Kayleen, and I graduated from Stevens Institute of Technology with a major in computer engineering and a minor in engineering management. I'm from California, and fun fact about me, I'm a foodie, and I love going out to eat. Oh, you're a foodie, Kayleen? What's your favorite restaurant? It's kind of silly, but I really like Cheesecake Factory. I just don't go that often because the line's always really long and the food takes forever to come out. Oh my, that's like such a huge problem. You know, like how it is today, like when you want to go out to eat, you have to choose a restaurant. You have to go to that restaurant. You have to wait for a table. You have to wait to make that order. And then you have to wait for that food to come after you make that order. And then you can eat. You're just spending so much time. It's 2022. Like, why are we still waiting? So we decided to come up with an app uh, called IQ. So IQ takes a lot of that waiting out, uh, where all you have to do is you go onto our app, IQ, it, and then you it tells you uh, your queue in line. It updates when your food is ready. Then you go to that restaurant when your food is ready, and then you eat. So to kick off our features for our app, we're going to start off talking about what can our customers do in our app. Now, when you sign up into our app, the first thing that you'll see is a sign-in page. Uh, you can sign up as a customer, and as soon as you sign up as a customer, you'll see a list of restaurants. And in these list of restaurants, there's loads to choose from, and you'll be able to add yourselves to any queue within that restaurant. And now once you're in that queue, it will display your current place in line, and when a restaurant gives you the okay, when your food is already set inside of your food, inside of the restaurant, before you even get to the restaurant, you can go and enjoy your food the moment you get to the restaurant. And also they can also edit their credentials inside an, app, an account settings button inside of the customer's profile. So as a restaurant owner, you can choose to create a menu for customers to order from, and then you'll have the option to add item descriptions and prices. A queue status button on the homepage will allow owners to see who's on the queue at that time and also notify customers once their food is ready. Once that order is complete, an owner can remove the customer from the queue. So why IQ? Our app is simple to use and easy to navigate. It's free to use and can be expanded for use by any business that involves customers waiting. With our app, you'll be able to have control over your own time rather than standing in a line or waiting at a table. Some businesses already have websites or apps just for themselves, but our app will allow a user to access any business who registers with IQ. Business owners and customers have access to the live and constantly updating queue so that both sides will stay connected and informed. So we already gave you a solution to all of this waiting. What are we waiting for? I'm hungry. I know you're hungry. So let's get on IQ. Let's use our IQ and download IQ today. Um, now we're going to present and get ready to show you how our application looks. All right. So here is our IQ app. As you can see, we're not signed in. Um, so you can see when you're not signed in, you can see restaurants. You cannot add yourself to a queue uh, when you're not signed in. You can see the menu of each restaurant. Uh, but let's sign up as a restaurant owner. So we, I want to I want to show you that we can uh, create a restaurant. So let's name it um, the Cheesecake Factory because I know that Kayleen really likes Cheesecake Factory, and the address can be I don't know Lane. And then the wait time for Cheesecake Factory, I'd say it's probably like 30 minutes. Um, so the username will be Cheesecake. Um, and as you can see, once we signed up, we can add ourselves, okay, Cheesecake. And then we can sign in as this new user that we created. 
Uh, and now we can see that we can check our queue. Uh, no one is in our queue right now because no customers have added themselves to the queue. Uh, as you can see, this is our new Cheesecake Factory uh, with no one in queue, zero people are in queue, and an estimated wait time of 30 minutes. You can also go to account settings and you can edit your restaurant information. So if you want, if let's say cheese, Cheesecake Factory decides to rebrand and name itself Cheesecake Chocolate, <laughs> I don't know, because I like chocolate. Uh, they now become the Cheesecake Chocolate instead of Cheesecake Factory. Uh, you can also add items to your menu because right now when you go to your menu, uh, there's nothing there. So if you go to add an item to your menu, uh, let's say we add cheesecake uh, for $12. Pricey, but delicious. Uh, and this would be a dessert item. You're able to add this item and not that menu. It goes to restaurant menu. You're able to see cheesecake pricey, but those are for $12. Uh, and so um, let's log out here and then let's have Kayleen share uh, showing a customer so you can see the live update. All right. So I'm going to sign up as new customer. My name is Kayleen, phone number. Let's just do that. Kayleen.com. Submit. Sure, we can save that. I'll sign in and check out the restaurants. And I want to add myself to Cheesecake Chocolate. So when I go back to the home screen, I see that my food will be ready soon and that I'm first in line. Um, while she's in the screen, uh, in the meantime, I'm logged in as Cheesecake. Um, and I can see that she that my queue, that she's in my queue. Uh, actually, really quick, can you can I share my screen really quick? Yeah. OK. Um, if I go to queue now, I can see that she's first in line in queue uh, and I can show, tell her that her food is ready or I can take her off the queue. Uh, okay, and then if you go back to yours. Uh, and now when I decide that uh, her food is ready, I'm gonna click food is ready on, oh, I clicked the wrong button, <laughs> sorry. I clicked to uh, take you off the queue. Okay, I'll join back. I'm clicking, sorry, I'm clicking food is ready. I guess refresh, I'm not sure. Home. But did it? Because it decided not to work right now. <laughs> I guess it just decided not to work. Um, however, <laughs> when we were, the last version that we deployed, once you uh, click, once the restaurant owner clicks, um, food is ready, this should take you to another page that says, um, food is ready at this restaurant. Yeah, uh, unfortunate that that didn't work there. But yeah, that's that's uh, our application. Great job, you guys. And you know what the frustrating thing is? That as soon as you leave this presentation, it's going to work because that is exactly how these things play out. Uh, we had someone in a different cohort have a very similar thing happen. And then at the end of the presentation, they're like, wait, it's working. We have to show, have to show you it works. Um, we believe you. That is the, the joy of technology. You know, we you just you got to roll with it and you did. So of course we had to end on it, which just never feels good, but trust me, the, the previous part more than made up for it. So that was a fantastic application. I, uh, along with a number of other people, I'm officially starving. I didn't know that I wanted Cheesecake Factory, but it turns out that I do now, I guess. Um, anyway, it was, it was beautiful. The, the interface was really great. You guys did an, an excellent job. So, um, Tell us a little bit about your um, planning process. So when you started this, how did you decide to break up the work? How did you decide to um, manage those tasks throughout the, the build of this? So we handled a lot of it through uh, the Git, GitHub. We set up a lot of to-dos uh, for each other. We also, when it came down to the back end, because that's where we started, we divided all of the classes within the data layer domain and the models. Since we only had customers and restaurants and we basically divided that between each other. 
and went through the classes one by one to see if each of the layers worked together, which was great on our teamwork. And as a team, I feel like we worked very great together. And when it came down to the front end, um, Kayleen was great with showing us uh, how the UI was going to look. Um, kudos to her. And, and then when it came to deployment, um, we did great working together, getting the site deployed. David was a lot of help. Um, so yeah. Really, really well done. Um, so I'm curious, Kayleen, tell us a little bit about the front end. David wants to know, did you do research for front end design or how did you end up with that? Um, so I looked at other food related websites like Grubhub and Yelp, and I took some inspiration from them, the kind of color schemes and um, the, how they had pictures of food on the front, as well as the layout for login, sign up and the kind of the nav bar. So we just did like a really simple kind of um, inspired by those types of websites. And I've also looked at um, Uber Eats and I saw how they designed their website. So I took a lot of inspiration from those. I would like to take credit for the burrito though. I found the burrito uh, image and I was like, this is delicious. And I would like that on the front end. I agree that what did look delicious. <laughs> good choice. It's always nice when I leave a presentation starving. I know something good has happened. <laughs> Um, if you if you guys could go back and um, start over again, is there anything you think you would do differently, whether it's from a technology perspective or approach perspective? There was one uh, particular thing that I wanted to add, and that came when you were joining a queue. I would have loved to have like elevator music when you're inside of a queue so then you can just like relax before you go and eat at your restaurants listening to whatever kind of YouTube video that uh, decide the restaurant decides to add for their customers and um, yeah. I love it. Uh, we've got Artie's asking what tech stack did you use for this implementation and Beth Raymond would like to know that as well. Uh, so yeah so we used um pretty much the same thing that uh, most people use Java, um, MySQL, and uh, we also use Bootstrap for a couple things in the UI, although Kayleen like, would know more about like a lot of the like actual UI implementation there. Um, yeah, it was pretty much just simple Bootstrap, and then I did a lot of Googling to see like for which features I wanted. I took some, like, I, I found the CSS for like GitHub buttons, so then we took these like nice round frames and kind of the colors for those. But um, yeah, it was a lot of just simple additions for the CSS. So on the front end, you'd use CSS, Bootstrap. Did you use React or JavaScript or anything like that? Um, yeah, in Visual Studio, we had to go through a lot of React components and we struggled with trying to pass through like ID and information through the props to get to different links. And then, yeah, that was all written in JavaScript. Excellent. Erwin, anything to add before I move on to our next question? Yes, absolutely. The last question I already put a conflict situation that our team saw. Um, personally, deployment, um, deploying our UI, uh, I came to a really bad error when it came to adding the Docker file um, it was the NGX uh, web server that wasn't loading for us. And um, I had to like Google search a lot of things uh, through like Stack Overload to find a, a good uh, replacement for what we had, an example code that we had. But after a lot of trial and error, we were able to get, get it deployed eventually. Excellent. All right. So with that, unless there are, are there any other questions? Looking through to make sure I didn't miss any ones. We had a, a number of compliments in there. Really, really well done. I know Dex is, is clapping for you. We all are. So round of applause. That was a fantastic application. And I agree with someone posted out there like, why doesn't this exist already? I, I feel like this is something that should exist. We, we live in the time of... Um, you know, instant gratification. I don't know if someone has, hasn't come up with this yet. So really amazing job. Great work, team.